Thomas the Tank Engine was a little blue engine who always have tried to be really useful. He and all of his friends lived on the island of Sodor. Life on the island of Sodor was very peaceful and happy. But on this beautiful island where trains could talk and the railroad was really reliable and right on time, trouble was brewing. So Topham had the railroad director was going on a vacation. This conductor who traveled from place to place in the shower of gold dust was coming to help him. Thomas said, huffed Gordon, whoosh! Suddenly, a big diesel engine raced past them. The diesel growled, asked Gordon nervously. Thomas said as the diesel screeched away. Grumbled Gordon. Thomas agreed, but he couldn't help feeling frightened. Meanwhile, Diesel 10 was planning to get rid of the steam engines once and for all. He wanted to rule the railroad. That night, Diesel 10 sneak up to the engine shed and threatened Mr. Conductor with a jog claw. Hiss Diesel 10. Mr. Conductor had another problem too. He sighed to Thomas. Thomas and the other engines knew they had to help Mr. Conductor find the source of the magic gold dust. Per Diesel 10 to his pals, Splatter and Dodge gulped. Diesel 10 continued. Asked Splatter. Dodge asked. Snickered Diesel 10. A door opened on Diesel 10's cab roof and came out of his huge claw, said Diesel 10. He lifted his claw high above them, but then it dropped and hit him on the head. Spider and Dodge said to each other. Little did the Diesels know that Toby, the tram engine, had overheard their plans. Toby told the other engines that he followed the Diesels to see what they were going to do next. The Diesels were plotting to destroy magic buffers that led to Mr. Conductor's magic railroad. Toby knew he had to do something to stop Diesel 10, thought Toby. Clang. Toby rang his bell as loud as he could, shouted Diesel 10. Diesel 10 tried to catch Toby with his claw, but he knocked over a pile of scrap right into his own tracks. Diesel 10's path was blocked, asked Spider and Dodge. Diesel 10 growled. Diesel 10 was mad when he found out that Thomas had traveled the Magic Railroad to bring back Lady the Golden Engine. Lady was the source of the Magic Gold Dust. She could help Mr. Conductor foil Diesel 10's plans. Diesel 10 chased Lady, but Thomas raced between them. All three engines headed towards the dangerous old viaduct. Lady crossed the old viaduct. Stones began to fall. When Thomas crossed the viaduct, more stones fell and a big gap appeared in the track. Thomas jumped the gap just in time, but Diesel 10 couldn't stop, and he tumbled far below into the barge filled with sludge. Gordon told Thomas. Thomas said, and puffed home into the sunset. The End